You're watching free content from Digital Tutors, the world's largest CG training library. Enjoy the tutorial and visit digitaltutors.com to find thousands of videos streaming in HD. In this lesson, we're going to look at the planar mapping command. Now, planar mapping allows us to create UVs for our polygon mesh based on an imaginary flat plane. So all we have to do is to come in and we can either select an object or we can select individual faces if we wanted to apply our uh, projection map to an individual face. Let's go ahead and select an object. We can come into our polygons menu set, go to create UVs and use the planar mapping. Now if we open up the option box here, we can see that we have a few different options for what we can do to help kind of do some preliminary fitting of the UVs before they actually get created. Uh, but before we get into these options, let's go ahead and project this. And we can see what happens with our UVs here in the UV Texture Editor. So these UVs are actually being created based on this uh, planar projection. Now we can come in and adjust this projection however we may want. We can see how that's affecting our UVs here in the UV Texture Editor. We also have the ability to come in and very precisely enter in any sort of uh, dimensions or scale or rotation for this projection and that will come in and adjust our UVs accordingly as if they're being projected from this particular uh, plane. Now on this uh, manipulator here if we come down to the very bottom we have the ability to if we click this we can actually come in and rotate this. So if we wanted to kind of rotate this to match our mesh a little bit better, we could very easily come in and do that. We can click that to go back to our uh, scale where we can scale this to kind of fit our mesh a little bit better. And we also have the ability here within the node that gets created for the planar projection to actually adjust the image scale U and the image scale V. Now what that is, is that's going to be the size of the actual um, textures or the UVs here in the UV texture editor. So if we were to kind of scale this in a little bit here in the UV texture editor, we can see that how that is affecting the image scale U and the image scale V here within the projection. So we can enter in some precise numbers if we need that, as well as the ability to adjust the rotation angle. Um, it really gives us a really high level of control over exactly how the UVs are being created for our mesh. So now that we've got a better idea of what planar projection mapping is and how we can uh, manipulate it here in the viewport, as well as how it affects our UVs within the UV texture editor, let's go back to the option box and take a look at some of the manipulations that we can perform before we actually create this projection. Okay, so we can come into our create UVs and planar mapping and open up the option box here. I'm going to come in and let's select another mesh here. Let's go ahead to object mode and just select this entire mesh. Now the first option here is to fit the projection to either a best plane or bounding box. Now by default it's going to be set to a bounding box which is going to give us the ability to choose whichever axes we want to have the projection created from. So as we saw before it was actually created along the X axis and that's the axis that the plane is going to be traveling along and projecting from. We also, uh, If we switch this to the best plane then Maya is going to use the angle of the faces in the selected mesh or any sort whatever we have in our selection and then automatically figure out what it thinks the best angle to project along will be. Now one of the really cool things of actually using the bounding box is not only do we have the ability to manually control uh, which angle our uh, UVs are being projected from, we also have the ability to actually uh, project from a custom camera. So we can either project from our perspective camera. If I were to come in and select this and then hit apply, we can see how our projection is being was being projected from the perspective camera at the time we projected that. But we can also actually project from either an orthographic camera or any sort of custom camera that we might have created. So if we, we wanted to come in and set up a camera here, and see we have a camera set at a very specific angle and say we wanted our UVs to be projected exactly from this angle 
me where you can come in, look through the camera, select the mesh or the components that we want to apply our projection to, simply come in to create UVs, planar mapping, open up the option box, make sure that we have our camera selected, and then hit project. And our UVs will be projected from that camera. So that's just yet another way that we can really gain a really, really fine and high level of control over how our UVs are being applied to our mesh. Now the next option here within the option box is the ability to keep the image width and height ratio. So if we were to have this turned off and we applied our uh, projection, let's switch this back to the X axis here just so that we're not actually creating our projections based on the perspective camera that I'm moving around. Uh, if we were to create this, it's going to create our UVs like this here where we can see it's taking up the entire 0 to 1 texture space. Now if we have keep image width and height ratio checked, what Maya is going to do is it's going to try to uh, determine the s actual ratio for this mesh or meshes that we have selected and then generate the UVs accordingly without stretching them to fit the entire 0 to 1 UV texture space. So to see this a little bit, we'll get the exact same mesh on the opposite side, make sure that this is checked, and if we hit apply, we can see the difference in the UVs that are created. We see that they're not being stretched to fit all the way up our uh, 0 to 1 texture space. Whereas on this side here, they're actually uh, being stretched in order to fit within this 0 to 1 space. Now, this is something to keep in mind when we create our UVs using the planar projection it, because this can start to cause some sort of distortion within our UVs if we're not careful. Now this next option here is really helpful if we have deformers on our mesh. We have the ability to actually insert our uh, poly planar projection node before our deformers. So that really helps to limit things like swimming textures when we have deformers on our mesh. Now this last option here is going to give us the ability to create a new UV set. Now it's important to point out as you may have noticed when I'm been through and kind of created some new uh, UV textures here by projecting my or doing my polyplanar projection. It's actually overwriting the UVs that were currently applied to that mesh. So if I were to come in and have this unchecked and create a new planar projection, it's going to replace those UVs. So we can see we've actually replaced those UVs. We don't have any way to get the other UVs back. Now, if we wanted to maintain the current UVs without actually overwriting them, we could very easily come in and create a new UV set. And the UVs that are created from this projection will be applied to that new UV set. So let's give it a name, something that uh, we'll remember. Maybe our planar map UV set. And if I come back into object mode, just make sure that uh, everything is selected here. Go ahead and project we can see that our uh, UVs are, have been projected, uh, although they're exactly the same as the other ones. So let's come in and actually let's once again project this here. And let's go ahead and give this another name here. So we have our uh, second UV set. This will be our planar map second UV set. And we'll want to kind of change this up a little bit just so we can see a little bit of difference here so that we can see that we're keeping our original UVs. So if we project this, we can see the uh, difference in the UVs. If we come into our UV sets, we can see we have our various uh, previous UVs that we have created as well. So we haven't actually overwritten any of the UVs. So that's just really helpful and a nice way of being able to control how the UVs are laid out on our mesh. So that is a look at how we can create planar projections by using the planar mapping command.